First of all, I want to say that while I am disappointed with the results, the public has very clearly spoken, and now is the time to turn the page. British Columbians expect us to act on their decision, and we will. They expect us to be prepared, and we are. And let me be, be clear about one thing in particular. We will return to the PST with the exemptions that existed prior to the HST. That's what people voted for, and that's what's going to happen. I think it is important to reflect on the fact that the investments that we have made in cooperation with the private sector, over $12 billion of joint federal, provincial, private sector investment in opening up the Pacific Gateway in British Columbia and investing in our ports, our airports, our highway infrastructure, have gone and have been successful to a point where British Columbia alone in the country now exports half of all our exports to markets other than the United States of America. And I think that that serves us well going forward. The fact that our economic future in large part is tied to some of the fastest growing parts of the world, which is Asia. And I think that that is a foundation for building for a bright future. And we will work together with the public and our public servants to ensure that we go back to a PST, GST world as responsibly as we can. Our plan for Made in BC jobs will be coming forward in a matter of weeks and we will be focusing on diversifying our markets for trade and clearing the path for job creation. Now this decision, along with the instability in the global economy, also makes it much more important that we maintain our prudent, fiscally responsible approach to government spending. This government is absolutely committed to retaining our place as a low tax jurisdiction in Canada, to maintaining our AAA credit rating, and to maintaining our commitment to balanced budgets.